Wikipedia, also spelled Ipazia, was a Greek mathematician. She lived during the 4th and 5th centuries in Alexandria, Egypt. She taught philosophy and astronomy, the motion of planets, the number theory, and conic sections at the Neoplatonic school in Alexandria. Hepadia was a fortunate child raised by her father Theodon of Alexandria, who was a teacher of mathematics at the Museum of Alexandria and a keeper of the library in Egypt. He was her tutor and teacher. He trained Hepadia in the fields of arts, literature, science and philosophy. She was also taught to work on her speech, which gave her the gift of being a great speaker. Hippadia's father also wanted to make sure she was physically fit, and her physical education consisted of rowing, swimming, and horseback riding. She studied for some time in Athens, where her talent for mathematics was proved. She excelled in all of her studies and became the greatest philosopher of her time. Not only was her mind very forward-thinking, but so was her behavior. Hypatia was against what was thought to be norm for women's behavior in public. She did not wear the usual woman's clothing, but she wore that of scholars or teachers. She also moved around freely in her own chariot. She held a high position as the head of the school where she taught and had a lot of political influence in the city. When she returned from her studies in Athens, Hypatia was asked to teach at the Neoplatonic School of Alexandria. She was loved and admired by her students and people came from all over the world to hear her lectures. Hypatia's students fled to Athens where the study of mathematics would later flourish. The Neoplatonic School continued in Alexandria until the Arab invasion. The Library of Alexandria was a bubble of cultural knowledge where many of the most famous thinkers studied. It said that it held 50,000 books on its shelves. Hypatia was happiest when she was in the library, surrounded by texts in mathematics, astronomy, physics, natural science and other subjects, including a lot of her father's and her own work. When the Arabs invaded Alexandria in 642 AD, the library was burned to the ground and with it all of the Hypatia's works. All we know about her writings today is when others of the time spoke of her work. Hypatia found herself caught in the middle of a struggle between two powerful figures in Alexandria, namely Orestes, the civil authority and her friend, and Cyril, the bishop. It was a time of great turmoil as the people of Alexandria were being divided by their different religions. Hypatia had Greek beliefs and at the time there was a stronger Christian following. This led to the eventual murder of Hypatia on the 8th of March 415 AD in the streets of Alexandria. However, Hypatia lives on in her legacy and a lunar creator was named in her memory.